Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time for the weekly ranking show, and things are starting to shape up for the ATB Finals. We've got some new players in the top 10 this week for both the men and the women, and also the WTA Finals. It's set. The top eight have been confirmed. Let's go starting with the past results, because last week we had some big wins for some key players. So let's start with the ATP from last week. We had two tournaments last week, starting with the St. Petersburg Open, where Marin Cilic got the win over Taylor Fritz, 7-6-4-6-6-4. Cilic has been in some good form the last couple of weeks, and he gets rewarded with a trophy. And the Vienna Open, an ATP 500 event. Sasha Zverev getting the win over Tiafo, 7-5-6-4, and Zverev looking very good in that final as well. So maybe a player to watch out for come the ATP Finals in a couple of weeks' time. Having a look at the results for the women last week, and we had the, the Kormea Ladies Open where Vekic defeated Towson 7-6-6-2, and a good comeback for Vekic because she was recovering from knee surgery only six months ago, so really good comeback for her. And the big one, the Transylvania Open, Contivate getting the win over Halep 6-2-6-3, qualifying for the WTA Finals. She had to win to qualify and she did. Didn't even drop a set all week. She was absolutely unbelievable and she officially is into the WTA Finals as we'll find out in a second. Alright, let's start with the ATP rankings this week. No big changes to the main top 10 as we got Djokovic staying at number 1, Medvedev at 2, Pass at 3, Zverev at 4 despite winning the Vienna Open, Rafa at 5, Rublev at 6, Berrettini at 7, Kasper Ruud stays at number 8, but Dominic Team he has dropped 3 spots out of the top 10 for the first time in a long time. He drops down to number 12 making way for Yannick Sinner made the semi-finals of Vienna he goes up two spots to a career high ranking number nine in the world and a top 10 debut for him and Hubie Hercatch he stays at number 10 rounding out the top 10 for this week heading over to the race to Turin now and we've still got two spots up for grabs with about four players in the running to get those last couple of spots so this week will be crucial in Paris Djokovic he still stays at number one with Medvedev at two City pass at three. Zverev at four. Very close behind City pass, so there could be a change there come this time next week. Rublev is at number five. Berrettini, he's at number six. Kasper Ruud at number seven. He is just on the verge of qualifying. But Yannick Sinner, with a big week last week, he's gone up one spot to number eight, pushing Hubi Hercatch, who had a very poor week last week, down to number nine. So the rankings were to stop right now. Sinner would qualify, and Hercatch would just miss out. And Cam Norrie, he is at number 10 in the rankings. And the person who has the most successful week in Paris from those four players could be the one who qualifies. So a lot on the line this week in Paris, with only two spots up for grabs. Let's go have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week because with some good results last week, some players got rewarded. Alcarez, he's at a career high number 35 in the world. And Tiafo, after a very good week last week, he goes up to 41 in the world, which is eight spots higher than last week. So Francis Tiafo starting to rise up the rankings again with some good results. Players that have gone down in the rankings this week, Grigor Dimitrov, he's gone out eight spots, number 30 in the world, despite having a pretty decent couple of weeks, especially at Indian Wells had some really good wins there. He's gone down to 30 in the world. And Kevin Anderson, he's gone down to 76 in the world, which is 15 spots lower than last week. Lost a lot of points from Vienna a couple of years ago, which fell off this week. So he dropped a lot of points. Goes down to number 76. Over to the WTA rankings now, the normal rankings, and some changes to the top 10. Big changes. Barty stays at number one with Sabalenka at number two. But the French Open champion, Krejcikova, she's gone up to number three in the world, taking over Pliskova, who's gone down to number four. And that's a career-high ranking for Krejcikova. So good to see French Open champion slowly going up the rankings. And remember, she's already qualified for the WTA Finals. Might be a dark horse. Watch out for her. Muguruza is at number five. But Svetolina, she has dropped down eight spots after failing to qualify for the WTA Finals. She has dropped a lot of points from two years ago. Remember, she got to the final a couple of years ago. She dropped all those points. Goes down eight spots, making way for a lot of players. Sakri, she goes up to number six. Jabor goes up to number seven. And Contivate, after a great week last week, she's gone up six spots to a career high number eight and a top 10 debut for her. Angie Kerber goes up three spots to number nine. And Igor Fiontek goes up one spot to number 10 with the help of players like Ben Chich and Osaka, who also dropped out of the top 10 this week after losing a lot of points from the WTA Finals that they played a couple of years ago. So, so the rankings are starting to settle now with a lot of players losing points from two years ago and starting to get those rankings back to normal. So the best 10 players in the world are the best 10 players without them having to hold on to points from a couple of years ago. Heading over to the race of the finals now, the race to Guadalajara, and it's a big, big finale. Qualifiers are in. We've Sabalenka, she's at number one. Krejcikova at number two. Pliskova at three. Sakri at four. Svjontek at five. Muguruza at six. Adossa at seven. All of those players have qualified 
from last week. But Contivate, after winning the Transylvania Open, she had to win the title to get into the finals, and she did it. She pushes out on Stupor, just edges her out, and qualifies for the WTA finals. And she's had a great couple of weeks to really, out of nowhere, kind of make it into the finals. She wasn't even considered a month ago to be a contender. Now she's in there. And she pushes Jabor out, who goes down to number 9. And Naomi Osaka, who we haven't seen since the US Open, she drops down to number 10. So it's official. The WTA Finals are set. Contivate taking the last spot. But Jabor will be first emergency. Someone in that top 8 can't play in Mexico. Okay, let's look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week. And Pavlia Chenkova, after a really solid 2021, she goes up four spots to a career high number 12 in the world. Thanks to a lot of players dropping out of the top 10 and down the rankings, losing a lot of points from the WTA Finals. So she gets rewarded for other players players going down at a career high now 12 in the world and Vekic after winning a title last week in a bit of a comeback she has gone up 30 spots to number 67 in the world so good to see Vekic doing well again and getting some form late in the season after having recovered from injury midway through the season and surgery as well so Vekic she gets rewarded with a title this week and also 30 ranking spots higher players that have gone down to the rankings this week Addison Keys she's gone down nine spots to number 55 in the world so she continues to drop down the rankings former Grand Slam finalist from about five years ago. She is not doing well at the moment. And Yastremska, she drops down 21 spots to number 100 in the world, of course, was suspended on tour for a while with that doping charge. She's been back for a couple of months now, but her ranking is taking a big hit dropping down 21 spots on the edge of dropping out of the top 100. She is at number 100 as it stands. So there you have it, the rankings for this week and some big changes, especially to the WTA with things starting to go back to normal. Players losing points from two years ago, dropping out of the top 10 and the, the WTA finals, they're set. They're absolutely set. And it's gonna be interesting to see who wins that event because for me, if Barty was playing, she'd be the clear favorite, but with no Barty, who's the favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win the WTA Finals now that they're set? I have no idea. Contivate's in form. We all know that. Krejcikova might be a smoky. She's pretty good on hardcore surfaces. So maybe her, but I don't know. It could be anyone, to be honest. Maybe Sakari could do it. Maybe maybe Jabor comes in at the last moment and steals it. Who knows? But let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win the WTA Finals now that the Finals are set. So the WTA Finals, they are locked in. ATB Finals after this week might be locked in too.